opponents of medical marijuana, marijuana decriminalization, marijuana legalization, they come up with all sorts of insidious ways to suggest that legalizing marijuana would be really, really bad. Uh, they say, well, if you make marijuana more accessible, people are going to overdose, right? Which, uh, of course, we've reported extensively that there is no recorded evidence of any kind of marijuana overdose. If more people use it, there will be more people moving on as a gateway drug to cocaine or heroin, for example. We've heard that. We've heard that, well, if more people are using marijuana, they're going to get more involved in crime, for example. That's another popular one. We actually have information now for the first time. We have a study published in the journal PLOS one, which talks about will marijuana legalization actually lead to more crime? Will medical marijuana dispensaries lead to more crime? And the answer, unsurprisingly to a lot of people who have been paying attention to this is no. The findings looked at the FBI's uniform crime report data across the country between 1990 and 2006. That's a span during which 11 different states legalized medical marijuana. Now, during that time period, crime was broadly speaking falling in the United States. If you look more closely, if we say, OK, crime was falling overall in the country. But what if we look more closely and compare states that had medical marijuana and states that did not have medical marijuana and look at the differences when it comes to homicide, rape, robbery, assault, burglary, larceny, auto theft. And there was no increase or no reduced decrease, as the case may be, in the states that had legalized medical marijuana. The robbery and burglary findings are particularly interesting because those are crimes we'd most likely expect to see right outside the medical marijuana dispensaries. The argument, Lewis, from the right is, OK, here's what's going to happen. You have these legal medical marijuana dispensaries. People know criminals know that people going in are going to have money with them to buy the medical marijuana and people coming out are going to have marijuana. So it would be the perfect place to set up shop and start stealing either the cash or the drugs doesn't seem that it's happening. And yet another one of these arguments, these very forced arguments against medical marijuana legalization, decriminalization seems to have been shot down by just the most basic analysis of crime data. Yeah, which is good. It's good that we have those numbers. But if you just think about, uh, you know, personal anecdotal evidence of the effect of marijuana, um, you know, I think overall crime would certainly go down if uh, if this were legal even for recreational use nationwide, but except for maybe driving under the influence. Right. No, there, there's no question at all that driving under the influence would need to be addressed the way it's addressed now with alcohol. We have a system of laws that surrounds that. But you're completely right, Lewis. If you legalize marijuana, you eliminate the entire criminal element of trafficking marijuana. You eliminate the criminal element of the back alley deals and people carrying guns for protection and all of this underworld type thing surrounding marijuana, you eliminate it. Of course, the same way you have with cigarettes and people trying to circumvent state taxes by trafficking cigarettes, you could still have that with marijuana. But again, that would be no different than what you have with cigarettes. It would eliminate the entire criminal element. Let's take a break. I have so much to talk to you about today. I'm glad you're with us. It is Thursday. DavidPackman.com slash membership is how you get access to our bonus show. And we will be back right after this.